Are you like my biggest fan, dude? What's up, guys, and welcome back. I'm Young Obi, and this is Metro Exodus, episode 33. And last we left off, uh, we left the communications bunker, and then we were like going around, like exploring parts of the map that uh, we hadn't already explored, and we wound up going to Anna. And from there, she showed us like a whole another side, that pretty much the other side of the map that we haven't checked out. I figured we'd just finish wrapping up, going to a couple places that we haven't been to along the way. Um, I'm at this screen because there's like dialogue I, that I don't think we've heard yet. Like I hit continue to go back into the game and I started doing like a whole thing talking about how we got the maps and how we need to go to the train. So uh, yeah, I figured we'll dive right into it. I managed to get the maps, the thing that we came to this godforsaken place for. The thing that may give us a new goal and a hope for the future. After the dark, claustrophobic bunker, the vastness of desert seems to embody freedom. I must deliver the maps to the Aurora, but I don't think anyone will mind if I take a few detours along the way. Right. This desert seems to hold many secrets worth uncovering. Hell yeah. There's still two spots in the uh, northwest that we haven't checked out. But I figured I'd wait on those to see if we end up having to go there for a story anyways. All right. Man, those load times are fucking ridiculous. Whoa. Um, I remember we were getting harassed by the gargoyles. All right, and our truck is way back there. Thought I heard one dive. Must have been just like the wind. Uh, nope. I'm dying light controls. All right, so I did jump. Go. At first, I was like, "Why is that spot on fire?" I totally forgot I threw a molotov. Actually, oh shit! What? <laughs> I should probably oh, I won't let me turn that way I'm just going to park here and actually run to that, those dark spots in the middle um, hopefully the gargoyles don't get me but oh, I don't remember this <laughs> oh that's the motion sensor I was going to say is that uh Ooh, dick. This is the sound of spiders. Cobwebs. I should probably um out of kits. Uh oh yeah. I wonder why I was, didn't refill them. Gotta be something secret down there, right? Oh, damn, this is right across the street. I didn't even realize it. Oh, you had a gun? <laughs> hey, buddy. Well, obviously, I'm going to do that. But what else was there? That. All right. Get rid of all of them. 
Nice. Anything in that backpack? Actually wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Oh, that fucker. Oh, it's not even a town. There's probably something in that boat. And something in the very center. I'm not even seeing. Oh, there. That, um, I was going to say, I see the shadow. But like, I'm not really seeing any enemies down there. Oh, little fox. I just don't want to die climbing down. It's a long ways. This is what it's for, right? Why am I walking on air? Oh! Nope. Oh, this is death. That would suck to die from, like, falling from a height. Like, if you slip or something like that, and you just... There is that moment where you just... It's like, fuck it. There's nothing I can do. I fucked up. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if you slip and fall, there wouldn't be the, like thinking of like you know life flashing before your eyes kind of thing it'd just be kind of like a oh fuck and give up hell yeah made it we still here all right it's loading that's a good sign let there be flame. Fire. I really hope there's something over here. It seems there's got to be like a safe spot, right? There was only like one other one on the, this entire side of the map. Is that a storm? Oh, my guy's freaking out from sprinting a little ways. For a second there, I thought there was a dude just standing <laughs> back there. Oh, then I, I fuck. Damn it. I'm glad it saved right there. But <laughs> I tried grabbing onto the beam using left bumper. Like this is dying light. I, I just, and that's the last game I played, so I, I have the fucking controls embedded in my head. Uh, but we didn't see anything in there, so fuck it. No use climbing around. Oh man. Um. What was it? All right. Fuck it. I knew there had to be something over in this side of town. Do we... I probably can't even open. Yeah, our way back in. Or Ella, I guess. Hopefully it's just spiders. If it's spiders and mutants, I'm going to be kind of screwed. Because if it's spiders, I can just leave the charger out. Like we did in the comms building, but... Oh! I heard them scurry and I was like, fuck this. Yep, regular ones. You guys gonna come for me? Burn. Please? Oh, I thought I can go through it. Damn it, I have to go down? I don't want to go down. Come this way, buddies. Another twofer? Two at a time? At least you guys are... It's this... Oh, they're spitting on me. Ah. Hmm. 
God damn it. Whoa. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh, where am I? At? It's kind of ridiculous. I've been recording for 25 minutes already. I don't even see any holes that they would have came out of, but I guess they would have just ran across. We don't need the lighter. Oh, we need the light though. We don't need the lighter. All it does is prevent us from reloading. Um, I think we're just gonna try and sprint through it. Oh, all right. Uh, just cause we've seen trying to like just corner pick them off didn't really work too well. So hopefully the game doesn't freeze again. Let's see what, what's at the end of this. Invincibility frames. Nice. This feels like a safe spot. I, don't, I feel like there should be something here, though. Hmm. Nice. I hear a radio. Damn, that must be really old. I figured it was going to be a thing talking about how the spiders came in and got him. Uh, there's nothing on the air. Nothing to listen to. Just a fucking baron ranting again. What's up, man? Fuck, don't, don't shoot. Don't shoot, man. I don't plan on it. I wonder it. who these newcomers are. Must be a fun gang if they manage to piss him off like this. <laughs> Are you going to talk to me? Are you one of the newcomers? Yes. The ones with the train? No, um. he's not permanently pissed every day regardless, shouting at his flankies. <laughs> well, their fault. Could have flipped him one any day, like I did. But I'd be dead. Whoa. Hey, come on in. Make yourself at home, brother. You're confusing. I don't get many guests with all the spiders around. They packed the hold full of the Baron's flankies bones already. Nice. Well, you must be real lucky to have gotten here in one piece. Yeah, I kind of just ran through. When I had to run from the gang. I hid here and spent ages watching the damn critters. I thought I was a gar, but it turned out they were afraid of light. So I settled here for good. Now I make my what? living by collecting the guns and gear from the idiots the spiders catch. <laughs> and they don't mind. Do you have like a then in star my suit? Free time, I just scan the radio. So I know pretty much everything that's going on around these parts. These bandits blabber about everything on air. Then again, there's nobody to eavesdrop. Sure. Slaves don't have radios. So, as soon as they noticed your train, the Baron got all his people running around in circles. Hey, he thinks you're here to take him out. <laughs> I mean, we will. Now, more likely. You tell me if that Baron is all right upstairs. Certainly looks completely insane to me. A classic case of persecution mm, complex enough. and the delusions of grandeur. <laughs> Say someone did come to take him out. Real classy, like driving a fucking train. <laughs> Fine, let's give him that. But why would they stop at the old station then, huh? They could stop the train right at the castle gate and have at him. 
He has a castle? But logical thinking is not among Baron's faults. He's too grand for that now. <laughs> Which I mean, he's will the leader. turn out to be his undoing in the end, I think. I will say though, that if you really do take that Baron bastard out, the whole desert will be kissing your footprints until the end of days. Not to mention my personal thanks. <laughs> I mean, someone else will probably just take a spot. I've been ranting for too long. <laughs> Have some rest. Use the workbench if you like. In general, make yourself home, as I said. <laughs> I'll uh, stay on the radio in the meantime. Nice. Do you want to get out of here? We got. Uh, you can come on the train. What's that? Oh, all right. Didn't you, eh? Yeah, did. Well deserved and timely. Gule was a menace for the Baron since forever. She spent years inciting the locals to rebel against him. But now, since there are basically no free locals left, I would have gone easy on the troublemaking were I in her shoes. But she didn't. So they finally found her base. Only to have you rain on Baron's parade, eh? <laughs> I mean, she was just at the lighthouse. You can see it, like, across so the entire land. Of you for nothing after all. I mean, we do tend to fuck shit up. We're gonna end up having to go back down. But I don't know if I want to just, like, try and just throw lives at it. Where's that at? Something tells me, though, that it was the work of one man. Maybe even someone I know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like my biggest I fan, no dude? I what you would want from that place, but the fun was worth it. <laughs> Thanks for the giggles. <laughs> the, the idiots must still be running around looking for the attacking gang. I mean, they'll just think it's the gang on the train. Just gauge your risks before you act. If the bastards shoot you, I'd be bored to death. All right. Where is, is that zip line right here? Oh no, it's a. They have. A, he has a letter. Something down there. You can go up. I mean, is down there the only place that you have anything? I didn't see anything I could grab over here. There wasn't even a place to sleep. your risks before you act I, I mean the bastards shoot you I heard you the first time uh, do that a couple times because when we had less bullets than that hmm There's this radio chat I Shush. On here. it's the only place that I can so, uh, trade out is, my receiver is at the train watch Alright. Alright. I felt like I was in there a little bit too long. Putting one away. My gun? Drop that. Let's see what's down here. Alright. Nothing laying about. I was going to say, it's way too bright out here for them. Snake. Oh. <laughs> Cook snake. All right, so that's the zip line. It's all good, man. I 
I wish I knew how long I was recording. I also gotta check to see if I can take those bottles. Oh, nice. It goes all the way over here. I don't know if we should just take the zip line down and then come back in through the way we came, or if we should drop down. All right, I thought for sure that was gonna hurt us a lot more than it did. I think we're just gonna drop down. Make sure we're not missing anything. All right. Oh, there is a bed. Can't use it though. I wonder if the hermit's the one that made that recording. No, the recording was from someone that actually operated this boat. Oh man, that is a difference. for sure that was going to be something. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's a long barrel. Alright, I'm going to guess that's it. There was like one crate in the bottom that we could have like worked our way into, but it's probably nothing, actually. Might as well. Sacrifice our lives to, in hopes of making the future better. Nope, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nice. I like that they're not attacking me now because I already made it through them. Alright. Alright, we already got it. Nothing but stay. Hmm. That's weird. But, yeah, I don't mind it. We were able to get that knocked out without any troubles. Hello, hello, come in. <laughs> Had your fit. Come on. This is really getting on my nerves. Put the gun away. Calm down, buddy. <sighs> now we're talking. I get nervous around guns, you see. I can fucking tell. Fuck. Um, there's probably no reason to not take the zipline. The zipline's more fun. Aha! <laughs> Do the thing. Probably gonna be a long <laughs> run. Alright, and where am I going? To the center of this thing, alright. I wonder if it's just a demon nest. Look and it's looking like that's all it is.
Are they the only ones that died around here? I mean, other than this little guy boiling alive or whatever's happening there. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more dead bodies. Haha! -ha. King of the castle, king of the castle. Ooh, damn. I wasn't expecting that to be so bad, but. Scared the fuck out of me, dude. Hold on, let me let me get my loot on. Fuck you. Alright. I'm glad we went back for that part. If it would have been any further back, I wouldn't have grabbed it. Looking like our next stop is the Aurora, which I'm gonna try and splice this together because I don't know how long I've been going. Uh, I can't just go by the hut, but. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. We're going to have a grown up conversation here, gentlemen. So move your tribals away from the radios. Done? Good. It has come to my attention that Shell Game told people that I should not have burned Sveti, and that Sveti was an okay guy, and I overreacted over some stupid shit we intended for the tribals. Who cares if he got drunk within the slave's sight and took a leak into the holy flame? Well, no shit. I have just put Shell Game down. Nothing could be done about that. Those of you who he owed can get remuneration from his wife. <laughs> She's worthy. So, <laughs> to avoid further incidents like this, I gotta tell you people something here. Especially the new ones. Tell me, why do the tribals obey us? Is it because they fear us? It partly is. <laughs> but fear before man is not absolute. When your life is so shitty you've got nothing to lose, you start having rebellious thoughts, even if you are the lowest of the tribals. And can we have that, gentlemen? No. We cannot have that. That is exactly why tribals must have faith. Faith in the supreme forces, making the world what it is, making a master a master, and a slave a slave. Not a man with a gun. The desert, the universe itself has created this world order and guards it. Power that is supported by bayonets, and bayonets only will inevitably end up on the same bayonets. But the power supported by bayonets and faith is eternal. This is what you have to always keep in mind, gentlemen. Why, I always say, if you see a slave that does not worship the holy flame, kill him. It is a loss, but it will undoubtedly pay off. Remember, this is what the holy flame wants, what the universe wants. And I want to make sure that we have no more misunderstandings concerning this. As you were, everyone, the man right. has spoken. <laughs> like, so is the Holy Flame even real? Or is it just a way to keep the slaves in check? The ending made it sound like he was still saying that the Holy Flame is a thing. But in the middle, it kind of seemed like he was saying that it's only a thing to keep power. I don't know. Ah. To 
of the train. So I can't go on that side of the train. Oh man, is this a sandstorm? Is it a sandstorm? That guy's not gasping. Looks cool as shit though. Doors are wide open and shit. Come on. Come on inside. Alright. Oh nice. So take a seat. I'll be with you soon. What a storm. Made of sand, no less. But damn the sand to hell. Gets everywhere. It's on far after all. Go back to sleep, darling. Yeah. Uncle Joe. Yeah, Don't get up yet. Uncle Artem has to talk to the coordinator first. Uh, okay. Aww. So obedient. Grab, take a seat, Artem. You must be tired. Oh, yeah. Um. There's nowhere to take a seat. Welcome back to the base, Artem. Hell yeah. Good to be back. Artem, it's Dragoy. Have a seat. No? We left some water for you. It became quite scarce lately. Hell yeah, thanks, man. Hi, so. See how anxious Nasty was for your return? Hell yeah. It's I cute. told her you went to get the map so they would know where to go next. Did you Pretty transparent that? of you. Yeah. Great. Sit near the cornell and tell us more. We've all been anxious, really. Why does everyone want me to sit next to the colonel? Is he gonna kill me? Can tell me. No books or nothing in this. That seems like temporary space. Any luck out there? We are all so anxious here. Yeah. That idiot. All right. Um. Well, next time we'll talk to the Colonel Miller. Uh. I don't know how long this is. It's probably longer just because I've been going for a while. Uh, about 50 minutes or so. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you tune in next time. I've been Young Obi. See you later.